It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, how would you examine the various mutual funds in your 401k? What would you look for to differ differentiate the good from the poor funds? This is a great question because you may be surprised to learn not all 401ks are created equal. Yeah. Some 401ks are really, really good. Some 401ks are less than optimal. So what are some of the things that you can look for to know if you have a good plan or not a good plan or good options, or not a good options? The very first thing we like to see whenever we look inside a 401k plan is, is there a wide berth of low cost index options? If I want to just go buy the S&P 500, or I want to go buy the total stock market index, or I want to go buy an international index, is there a good, really low cost option in there? When I say low cost, I'm talking like less than 20 basis points, yeah, maybe look at those internal 10 expenses. basis points. Go look at the internal expenses. Now, here's one thing to recognize, and we've seen this with clients before. We had a client one time who said, hey, hey, no, uh, don't worry. My 401k is awesome. I got Vanguard funds. Yeah. They're amazing. It was, it was an insurance provided That's right. retirement plan. We went and looked at it and there were sub account funds that were managed to mimic the Vanguard funds, but the internal operating expenses were like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1%. A lot of them were over 1%. That's not what you think of when you think of Vanguard funds. So make sure you look at the internal expense ratio of the funds inside of your plan. The other thing that we look for inside of a really good 401k plan is how diverse are the options? You may have five funds, but if it's large growth and growth opportunities and go get me some growth and growth I and want income. some more growth and then let's have growth and income, there's a chance that all five of those funds are actually buying the exact same underlying stocks. You want to make sure that you're actually able to diversify your 401k well across a broad range of asset classes. So if you don't have a number of asset classes represented, you may have a pretty concentrated 401k. So that's something you can ask HR about. But understand that just because you're buying something that has a different name doesn't mean you're buying something different. Again, we've seen this with friend, friends of the family and of the show who they just bought the stuff that said growth, not realizing that the four funds they were using all bought the exact same thing. They had that's no exactly real right. diversification at all. The other thing that we like to look for, we're looking at a 401k. Now, this isn't, this isn't always the case, but we like funds that you can go do your own internal research on. So I like to look in a 401k, and if I can find the ticker for that fund, I think can then go to Morningstar or Yahoo Finance or CNN Money or fill in your blank, and I can, I can actually search that fund. If the funds that you're using don't have tickers, there's a chance it's still a really good fund. It's just a pooled investment for the 401k, or there's a chance that it's some sort of sub account that is wrapped up and it's not actually what you think you're getting. So where we can do our own external research outside of the 401k plan, we really like that. I also would add, look at, pay attention to your 401k option or the, the plan design options, yeah. meaning does it have Roth? I mean, that oh, is such one. a huge planning opportunity if you're if your 401k or your employer provided 403b mm -hmm. um, is a Roth plan as well, so that you can have some tax free savings. Yep. Also, you know, make sure that it, it doesn't allow after tax. I mean, we see all kind of planning opportunities where you could, you know, do mega backdoor Roth with the right structure. If they yep. allow in service distributions. Yep. There's all kind of cool plan designs that can be set up for you that you can, that, that will help you have the tools to maximize your retirement building. Mm -hmm. This is the last thing that I'll say. And I, I always get nervous when I say this kind of stuff. Because generally I tell people, hey, when you go select your funds, don't look at the performance because our human behavior is naturally going to allow us to most likely say, oh, that fund did really well last year. I'm going to put all my money in that one. And then next year, oh, that fund. And you chase. But you do want to look at some sort of consistency on returns. If you go see a fund in your 401k, and last year it was up 50%, and this year it's down 42%, and next year it's up 13%, and the next year it's down 12%. If you're going to buy that fund, you better understand why you're buying that fund and what purpose that it serves in your portfolio. So I would look for some sort of consistent track record. Are your fixed income funds acting like fixed income? Are your large cap funds actually tracking a large cap index? Are the international funds doing what international funds do? Just make sure you do a little bit of research if you're going to design your own portfolio. Now, if you're someone in a 401k that has access to target retirement funds and your assets aren't over that $400,000, $500,000 uh, level, make it easy on yourself. Just go do the target retirement fund. Focus on how much can I save? When do I want to retire?
Make and sure they're the index varieties, like yep. the Vanguard Target Retirement or the Fidelity Freedom Index. Yep. Those are the those are the ones we're talking about. 